Swaraj. Uh, my learned friend will be leading the witness. These people that you call Bararo, um, and you think they are illegal operating from the ranch, what if they are employees or agents of the state? But we see them coming, and they come with certain authorities to the area. These are cattle keepers who come at night with trucks and offload their cows in these areas. They are guarded by security and they act the way I have stated in my statement. So there are a number of these. Even if you moved, the commission went today, you will find these people there. Our king's land is adjacent to Aswaranj. And one time, two gardens of cassava were destroyed by these people's cows. And who were they? They were the Balag. You can see the level of impunity. If you can even attack or destroy a king's property, you can see how much impunity these people met out to the ordinary communities. You know, when you have a cultural site, they're associated with trees, with the rocks, with certain environmental phenomena. Now, this is what these people are coming for. God bail, for instance, as the trees around there where the, chief, the chiefs are coronated. The trees are being cut. Yeah, apparently. Uh, as we investigate the issues surrounding the title, you know, that, it's very that, 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 There are other titles that we are told are in place. Got either in 19, in 2015 and 2016. The question is, why get new titles if there is a running title for 99 years? Entrepreneurs, eh? in, in some kind of public-private partnership, but you, you and in a transparent way, you see. So we can still use very well-crafted, innovative mechanisms that mutually benefit the communities. And after all, the initial intent for Aswaranj was that. The cows in Aswaranj would then be used to improve the local breeds okay? because you know the zebu cows are small. So they brought in the Borans the, uh, and other uh, uh, the better breeds so that they would be used to improve local breeds. So it is just about developing an innovative approach or mechanism that is mutually beneficial to the government and to the people of Acholi. We should recognize that we have a growing population. We have a number of people disadvantaged in whatever form and that we also need to protect these cultural sites because they are constitute our identity. We shall not be called Acholi if some of the things that make us Acholi are destroyed and more so by other people who are non-Acholi.